Taking a look at Derek Jeter, one of the best ever. And uh, let's look at this swing from 2001. There's his front foot down position. Knob of the bat to the plate right there. Ideally, we'd like to see, you know, we talk with hitters about getting that bat back. Knob of the bat to the catcher's feet. What I really wanted to illustrate with this is, you know, he's really going to start spinning this backside and then recover. And this is what we try to avoid with a lot of, of our hitters is, you know, going hands, hands, hands. And now, you know, now his hips really start to move. Okay, so he's hands before hips. We want it the other way around. But being the great athlete that he is, watch this move he makes. Put a mark on his knee here. And he's going to really, from this point, start to drive forward and down with that back knee. See where it ended up there. All right, so he starts to kind of spin, spin. And he's going to get the hands in and really engage the hips. All right, so you see a great position there. You've got the hands ahead of the barrel. And then we're going to get to contact with that hip drive forward. And he's going to get great extension through it. So you know, that's what a great athlete can do. He can recover from, from some positions uh, that are poor uh, in the swing. And, and that's the case with him. You know, he starts to look like he's spinning. Boom, then he starts to drive everything forward and through the ball. Great example of hip drive, although it was late and uh, great extension through the ball.